हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल टुडे आई एम बैक विद रूटीन स्मॉल इंसिजन केस विद अ मॉडरेटली डायरेक्टिंग पीपल एंड लेट्स सी द सर्जरी नाउ बाय दिस टाइम साइड पोर्ट्स हैव बीन मेड एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टे इन द एंट्री कैप्सूल with trepan blue under few small air bubbles care is taken that the dye is evenly distributed some phenocane is uh, instilled to dilate the pupil a bit presently the dilatation of the pupil is about 5.5 here i am pushing in heavy viscoelastic sodium hyaluronide 1.4 now taking a bed needle cystitome i'm raising a flap and i am aiming a very small rexus a mini rexus because here i'm planning to decompress the bag because i feel the lens is slightly intumescent and there is high interlenticular pressure I'm purposely using the side port and a micro rexus because I don't want to have a shallow AC during rexus formation and prevent any extension of the recapsular rexus. Small rexus has been made and now is the time to decompress the capsular bag. Here I'm using by manual with vacuum of about 300 bottle height about 100 the nucleus is gradually tapped and uh, rotated so that whatever cortical matter is stuck behind the lens is expressed out and then it is aspirated Again sodium hyaluronate is taken and the entry chamber is filled up care is taken we don't push in viscoelastic into the capsular bag this also helps to keep the pupil slightly dilated as of the visco midrasis effect small nick is given tangentially at the rexus margin and again using the same micro rexus through side port Here I am enlarging the capsular axis to an optimum size, considering the uh, density of the nucleus, which is about NS3 to NS4. The axis is gradually moved along the border of the dilated pupil, which is now about six millimeters. and here is the end point and we have a decent size capsular axis i normally prefer uh, making the axis first through the side port and then i make the scleral incision but beginner surgeons can do it anyways as per surgeon's preference mild cautery is then applied uh, using bipolar cautery to 6.5 mm partial thickness scleral incision is then made a frown one and 
now using a crescent the ends of the incision are marked the crescent is then gradually moved in the in a wriggling motion and about cornea is entered about 1 to 1.5 mm so that we have a very secure and tight wound then it is extended on the left side into the cornea and scleral pockets are then made now on the right side same wriggling motion the bevel of the crescent is kept up because we don't want to have a premature entry at any point of time because if we have a premature entry then there are all the chances of iris prolapse during the surgery and it makes surgery even more difficult here i created a very nice scleral tunnel here using a keratom i have entered the ac and the incision opening is extended both ways both right side and left side and i always cut while moving forwards then we have a inner lip which is almost parallel to the limbus now using a visco cannula i'm just checking the incision size so after putting some visco elastic two sinski hooks are then taken and the nucleus is gently popped out and it's now wheeled out into the entry chamber now using the visco elastic again I'm just going to visco express by pressing the posterior lip of the wound. The nucleus comes out. Now is the time to remove the whatever cortex and epinucleus is there by just flushing the AC using a irrigation hand piece. is very less cortex and i'm going to just remove it using by manual to use by manual in small incision cataract surgery one has to have a very good wound incision so that the wound doesn't leak Here I am filling the capsule bag using 1.4 uh, sodium hyaluronate, and here I have planned to implant a three-piece uh, hydrophobic aspheric intraocular lens, a monofocal one. One haptic goes directly into the capsule bag. the lens is gently lifted and then the haptic goes into the capsular bag and the other haptic is going to be dialed in just a moment some more visco is instilled now using a sinski hook the optic haptic junction is gradually held and the other haptic is also dialed into the capsular bag I'm just checking whether the lens is into the capsular bag or not by retracting the iris and the lens is well centered both the haptics are into the capsular bag now is the time to remove the viscoelastic 
just by irrigating the posterior lip is gradually pressed and the irrigation hand piece goes behind the interocular lens to just flush out whatever viscoelastic is there and now the upper lip is gradually lifted and whatever visco is there in the ac is now being removed the remaining visco elastic is then used using by manual irrigation aspiration both the vacuum of about 450 bottle the height about 110 this is a venturi based machine which controls the aspiration flow rate automatically now is the time to close and i am hydrating the side ports chamber is nicely formed after hydration of both the side ports here i have put one 10 o nylon suture in the center of the wound just to counteract the against the elastic mechanism which would have been created uh, by this large incision and i find it quite helpful to reduce post op elastic mechanism to a greater extent and now i'm closing the conning tiva with cautery and that's it case is done hope this video is helpful and do follow and sh share and subscribe to my channel and help the channel to grow thank you so much have a nice day